Stop you for a few things. You ran the stop sign right there, did a roll and stop, and you're driving all over the road as well. Yeah, when you were going over here, you are going like way the hell out. You're not going at maximum deviation. Maximum deviation is right here. Breaking laws carries consequences. Some lawbreakers try to conceal their crimes to escape justice. And right here, I can smell the alcohol emitting from you, so that's why I'm asking if you had any more than two hours ago. No. None? That's, that's it. Nevertheless, evading the law is never the best way to deal with the situation. Place your hands upon your back, all right? <laughs> some of these offenders range from intoxicated females to even belligerent cops. These are some cases when stupid girl get arrested by the police. I didn't consume alcohol in Walla, but I did consume my alcohol before. A girl takes center stage for our next incident. On the 6th October 2023, in North Wildwood, New Jersey, an officer responded to a report about someone damaging an Uber driver's car. Upon reaching the location, he immediately began his investigation, upholding the law and ensuring the protection of the public and properties. When they receive such an event took place, they always make it their priority to assist the victim. And I have a witness that she started to hit me. For what reason? Well, I was in my car like this, getting in. Yeah. And she grazed my door. And I said, what the hell are you doing? Was she grazed her door to her car? Yeah. Okay. So then she came over. All right. And she started to uh, swing at me. Okay. And when she came over, she did this to my car. Uh, with what, like? Probably with her keys. Whatever. Wait. Sorry. Uh, she did. She do that on purpose. Well, I told her what the f are you doing. All right. And so she's in there right now. Hi, this hi, Officer Santiago. I thought yeah. you now have a camera this on. Man. All right, what this happened? Man, this man rips my <laughs> me a little tiny finger. Okay. All right. <laughs> he assaulted me. All right, all right. So what happened? What happened? Yes, I'm drunk, but it's like my I have no fingernail, okay. dude. Okay, okay, well Alright, so you so you pulled into the lot here, right? Yes, and I went to get him. And, and and you got too close to his car? And, and is that how this all started? Yes, but I didn't hit his car. Honestly she walked out and then I don't know. I walked out and this guy went to the circ and ripped off my fingernail. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well, they're gonna. They're. All right. They're gonna investigate that. All right. No, it's not even that. All right. But so it's no, like, he's I just saying. Fingernail, dude. I have no nail. Yeah, he's right saying now. that she hit him. And so why would I hit him for no reason? All right. Why so would you I see hit what him? happened? Honestly, I did not. Okay. All right. Each situation poses a unique challenge. Sometimes things are black and white. Sometimes there are 50 shades of gray in between. Did something of that nature be the case here? Okay, I here. Got an, I, let, maybe let I got her. a little too close. All right, so how, how, how did this start? So. I, I pulled in. <laughs> Hold on, I need to like take it. Okay. okay. I pulled in. Yes, I got a little too close to his car, but I didn't hit his car. He started getting out, freaking the out of me, telling me he's like gonna hit me. Okay. So I went in a Wawa. I got myself food, which was what I was planning on doing. Okay. And I came out, and he started like being violent with me. Also, this started as a. And then I lost my meal. And alright, and. And what what did he say? How 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 did he break your nail? I don't even know. He's like, you hit my car, like blah 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 blah. But it's like, like if it was a problem, like you should have told me. Like when I first pulled up, like it's okay. like. All right, so it's like, all right, I have so no I have to. Uh, sir. I have no fingernails. So so so, so we have, we we have to investigate. So this is a car accident. Um, no, with the with the investigator 450, and then we have to f figure out this assault. What exactly happened? I don't know if they have a camera in there or not. Okay, okay. So the pro okay. So we have to in investigate this assault. Okay, and I'm telling you right now, we're gonna investigate it. We're, we're, we're gonna investigate it. They're talking to him. They're gonna pull the cameras from inside while and all that. But I have to. What I have to do right now is investigate um, you driving. Okay, because you, you said you pulled in here. Uh, you went to the Wawa. There's no alcohol that you consume while you're inside Wawa. 
right? No, I didn't consume alcohol in Walla, but I did consume my alcohol before, and I'm yeah. 21 years old. Right, and you pulled into this I pulled la. into this Wawa. Maybe I pulled it a little too short, but it's like, I didn't hit his all right. car. Alright, and, right, and when when did you pull into Wawa? I don't know the exact time. But, it was recent? Recently, yes. Within I pulled the last few minutes? To get a cheesesteak, dude. Within the last few minutes? Yeah, okay, all right. I have no okay, nail, so dude. Look at my finger I, i'm gonna do, do, i'm gonna do, document that my job right now is just to make sure that it, okay so the, the, listen that the, the, they're gonna investigate your hand okay no, they're talking to them right now and they're pulling the cameras like, I don't even but listen care, i i have to i have right now what i have to do is i have to see no, if you're that. okay to drive because there's no i'm not okay so, to drive okay well there's three things that we, we have to to investigate right now we have to investigate whether or not there's a car accident whether or not you're there's okay to and then listen, we have to investigate the, the assault that took place. Okay? So well, I have to ask. I have no f finger now. Okay, so I have to ask you a few questions to make sure that you're. That's fine. That's, okay fine. That's fine. Once the facts are found, no amount of crocodile tears can prevent a cop from completing their duties. I don't even know, man. Like 10, maybe 11. How, 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 how many drinks do you think that you have? I just listened to you. So they were, they're like 5% alcohol. Okay. All right. The, I'm all right. Like really upset. All right. There, there's like a twisted tea that was inside the inside the car. What, what was that? One of the twisted that, teas that, that you're that drinking? That is so from previous, previous, previous. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Are you are you di di diabetic or anything? No, I'm not diabetic. Okay. I'm just all right. Like upset right all right. Now. All right. All right. What 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 what's your highest le level of of education? <laughs> I just graduated college. All right. Do you do you know the alphabet? <laughs> Yes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. All right, all right, all right, all right. Can you recite the alphabet slow and clear without singing it? From a. C to Y. You're going to start at C and end at Y. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, H, Y, W, X, N, Z. Okay. Can you count backwards starting at 50 and stopping at 38? 50, 49, 48. 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 41, 40, 39, 38. Okay. All right. All right. Well, all right. Um. This, my nail has yeah. ripped off, dude. I right. have acrylics. Yeah. So I'm gonna. So. If. Hurts, yeah. So we're, no we're, 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 we're. So we're. 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 We're gonna have someone at the station to take, take, take care of that. Okay. No, it's not. I don't even want to be taking care. Of. I just okay. want to go. Okay. All this. right. All right. So real quick. All right. I, what 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 I want to do is is I'm gonna do a few tests. I'm gonna check your eyes. Okay. Well, I'm intoxicated. It's okay. obvious. All right. Well, can you do me a favor? Can you just yes. put your arms down at your sides? All right. Put your feet together like so. All right. Do you have any issues with your eyes or anything like that? I wear contacts. Okay. All right. I wear glasses. All right. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to stare at this light and follow this light with just your eyes only. Okay. Do you, all right. Do you, do you do you understand? I understand. Okay. And I want you to keep your head straight and follow this with just your eyes. All right. I'm going to start, okay? Okay. Go ahead. All right, can you still see the light? Yes, I can right. see it. It's great. All right, I'm, 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 I'm going to continue. Upset. I'm just upset. I know. All right, ready? Yeah, Dana. First name Anthony, comma middle initial G golf last name Sierra India. Yeah, Alpha Echo November Alpha. 114 of 72 out of New Jersey. I'm sorry. No, 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 you're fine. Never. All right. All right, I'm gonna go go over to I'm gonna go over to the right just just one one go more ahead, time. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna bring this two inches above your head, okay? Okay. Do what you gotta do. All right, this next test it's called the walk and turn test. All right, I'm sure you, you you've seen it. A lot of cops. Okay. All right. All right. So what? What I want you to do? We're we're gonna use this line right here. It's careful, careful. So so the start, starting position for this test. What I want you to do is keep your left foot down and place your right foot in front of your left foot and touch heel to toe. All right. Place your left foot down. Place your right foot in front of your left foot and touch heel to toe and keep your arms at your sides. All 
all right? From that position, all right? What I want you to do, yeah, I, yeah, I want you to stay there for now. From that position, okay? You're gonna take nine hands to say step, stop, and nine back, and I'm gonna show you. It's gonna look like this. Nine up and then one, two, three. All right. When you get to your nine step, you're gonna just turn, take small steps, and just walk nine hands to say. Yeah. So, just, so just make sure that when you do your nine steps up and nine steps back, you keep your arms at your sides, stare at your feet when you walk, so you don't fall. Count each step out loud and don't stop till you're done. All right. I got you. All right, all right dude. Do you have any issues with your legs or anything? I just have, I want contact. Alright, alright, so do you, alright, do you understand? understand. Okay, alright, so you, are you, your body camera? Yeah, so you can start, alright. Okay. Alright, this last one I'm going to do, it's called the one leg stand test. So what you want to do is keep your feet together, your arms at your sides. Okay. Alright. Alright. When I say start, you're going to lift one leg, either, either leg you choose. Yep. Yeah. I was a choose. Alright, you can going lift, you can lift one leg, six inches off the ground like so, and just count out loud, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, and just keep counting until you just say to stop. Are right, you gonna keep your arms at your sides? When I say start, lift one leg, either leg you choose. Practice right, six I'm inches off the ground. All right. So, all right. So when I say start, all right, start. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand. And you just keep going until it's still. Yeah. The girl was charged with DUI. While the woman was caught due to the ruckus she caused, our next individual almost got away as she was only minutes away from home. I, okay. I, had, one, I had one drink, okay. so, so that's fine. I am required to finish the test first, but I do got a breathalyzer. That'll, that's fine. Okay. The incident revolves around a 28-year-old girl. In 2024, in Carlsbad, New Mexico, an officer observed a Prius failed to stop at a stop sign. He quickly caught up to the vehicle activated his emergency lights and initiated a traffic stop. Extracting information without raising alarms is one of the many duties an officer has. Based on the gathered information, they then might decide to proceed further until either their suspicions are squashed or validated. How's it going? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm Officer Basel with New Mexico State Police. Stop you for a few things. You ran the stop sign right there, did a roll and stop, and you're driving all over the road as well, failing to maintain your traffic lane. Yes, sir. You got your ID on you? Yes, sir. I've been where are y'all driving to tonight? We're going home. home. All right. And where are you driving from? Um, your her house. house. Okay. Yeah. I know it's on parking. I'm just not thinking. Um, I had it. I apologize. Is it out of New Mexico or? Yes, sir. All right. Do you have the uh, registration insurance by chance? Yes. Okay. Can she take off her seatbelt? Yeah, that's fine. So you might be on the floorboard once you cash on the ground and debit cards and stuff down there. <coughs> Do you have a jacket you can put on real quick? Yep, so let's step out real quick. I'll get all your information back in my car. You had the what? Alrighty, so don't worry about it. Let's just put a jacket on, and then let's. I'll get. I know, I know, but I have it, and I just don't. Alrighty, let's shut your door for you. Alrighty. Alright. So where are y'all dri dri driving from again? Um, from the Stevens. Stevens, or how much yes. have you had to drink tonight? Huh? How much have you had to drink tonight for alcohol? I have a Budweiser. Budweiser. How big was it? Um, a 16 ounce. 
16 ounce, how long ago? Um, probably two hours ago. Two hours ago? Ants. Okay, yeah. was that the only one you had? Yeah, Already. I don't really go out, so... Yeah, so the reason I'm asking, when I'm standing right here, I can smell the alcohol emitting from you, so that's why I'm asking if you had any more than two hours ago. No. None? That's, that's it. Officers are trained from the very beginning to keep a keen eye and ear out. This is to prevent suspects from slipping past them. Over the years, they also have developed various methods through which they can do the same for body language. Admission to drinking, and I can smell the alcohol on you. If you do refuse, I'll take you to jail regardless. Um, sir, excuse me, please. Um, I live right there on the street. I just live down the street. Okay, so. I never go out. All right, so. Please don't do this to me. So I'll, I'll give you the please options. Please, I'll, uh -huh. I'll follow your lead, but can you please, please just give me a chance? Okay, so the chance is to do the fields. Okay, if you refuse, um, okay. I got enough to no, okay. to uh, to make the DWI arrest at that point. Okay, so do you agree to do the fields? Yes. Alrighty. So I just got to get all your information real quick. All right. So for this first test, <clears throat> excuse me, you're gonna put your feet together, hands down by your side. All right, and you're gonna follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only, and it's very important that you do not move your head for this test, does that all make sense? Does that all make sense? Okay, all righty. So in, if you move your head, I can't adequately perform this test, so just make sure your head stays still, okay? All righty. So for this next one, we're going to do the same thing. But Can we're gonna... I please talk to you? Yeah. I never go out. I had a beer. Okay. I smoke a lot of weed. I'm going to be it in... honest with you. Mm -hmm. I'm really nervous. Okay. I never go out. Please don't do this. To me. Okay, so I haven't placed you under arrest. All we're doing is I just the you, test, okay? I know you haven't, and I know you haven't given me a test, but this is making me nervous, and I can't handle this. Please, just let okay. me go home. All right, so for this next test. We're going to use this line as a straight line, okay? This is so embarrassing. Do you know how many people know my family? Okay. I feel like a okay. So for this next test, you're, we're going to use this line. You're going to walk along this line as a straight line, okay? I really see in the line if I mean, it's the fog line? Oh, let me get you your glasses. I'm sorry for this one. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's just do a... I had one beer. I want to do a... I want to do a sobriety test because I... I you're talking the... Uh, excuse me, the breathalyzer? Yeah, I, okay. I had one. I had one drink. Okay, so, so that's fine. I am required to finish the test first, but I do got a breathalyzer. That'll, that's fine. Okay, so can we finish these and then we'll knock out the breathalyzer? Let me grab it real quick. Make sure I got it still. All right, so we'll do this test real quick, and then the portable's right here. Um, I'll just do the portable because I look stupid doing this in front of everybody. Oh, it's just us out here. So uh, it's really not. People keep passing by, and you know what? It's a, it's okay. Okay, so do you want to do them or no? What happens if I don't? Oh, we'll get there in a minute. So do you want to do that for sure, or do you want to finish the tests, the field sobriety tests? Okay, go ahead and put your right foot in front of your left foot like this. Ready? And then your hands down by your side. Right, so go ahead and stay in this position while I explain the whole instructions. Do not move from that position until I tell you to begin the test, okay? Alrighty, so you may begin. And I told you to do another series of nine heel, heel to toe steps back. Okay. 
uh, for this test, you're going to raise the foot of your choice about six inches off the ground, okay? You're going to keep your foot parallel six about the height of a soda can. Just estimate. It doesn't have to be exactly. Yep. Uh, so just let me explain it. You can get back like this so you don't tire out your legs. So, so I just keep counting until you tell me not to and take a step. We're not going to be here forever doing that. All righty, so, all right, so I gave you a lot of information right there. Do you have any questions before I tell you to begin the test? Count to a thousand and hold my foot. Yes, ma'am. Ready? And when you're ready, you may begin. You got to raise your foot off the ground. All right, that's good. All right, so let me set up this machine real quick. And the mouthpiece is clean. It's a fresh mouthpiece, okay? I didn't touch it in my, it's the plastic yeah, wrap on there. I just, I just like to explain to people. That's okay. Okay. Ready, so. For this one, you're gonna take a deep breath. Don't blow ridiculously hard like you're trying to pop a balloon, just give it a good airflow, okay? Alrighty, and when you're ready, on you. Oops, sorry. Let's redo that one again. Let's see. Okay, wait. All right, go ahead. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, you're almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, keep going. Okay. Although sympathy is a core human emotion, officers cannot let this interfere with their decision making. They need to be as impartial as possible in order to pass the correct judgment based on facts. As a result, oftentimes suspects fail miserably when they try to evoke sympathy from law enforcement. Okay. You're at the Stevens, you said? Here, I'd like over your wrist, so I don't have to put this on tight. So those cuffs are kind of cold. All right, let me see your wrist. All right, so who's watching your kids right now? My kids are with their own. Who's watching them? Okay, well, you got to make a phone call to him, tell him he's going to need to watch those kids tonight. Yeah, okay. Crew 9 South, come. How much, how much has your friend had to drink? Um, Went to the bar, didn't drink nothing? Yeah, we really just got there. Okay. Have the 41, 1015, 1047. Will you send a 46, please, for the vehicle? It's going to be a Prius. Alrighty, so I got to read you something real quick. Wrong one. It's a, I have to read it, too. Right yeah, I got to read you the Apply Consent Act. I have to do it regardless. Even if you tell me no, I have to do it. Alrighty, so, Alrighty, so I got to read this to you. So, have you had a DUI before? No. Okay. So it's for the breath test, so... Did you agree to take our test? It's okay. You, yes or no? You're, you're arresting me for a reason. Yeah, so yes or no, then I have to have a verbal no, answer. Yes. So you don't agree to take it? No. Okay. Okay, so if no. So do you... Wait, 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 wait. Um, can you just be nice right now for a second because I'm going to jail? Would you recommend me to take it? That, I can't answer that. Oh. So, with what I just read, do you agree to take the test then? Can you read it one more time? The whole thing? 
Alrighty, yes. So listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. Or physician of your own choice to perform. But you already, you already did it, right? That does not satisfy the requirements okay, of New Mexico. So sure. you agree to do it? Sure. Okay, so I'm just going to finish it all again. Once I start, i got to finish, okay? Do you agree to take our test? Sure. Okay. So let's open up your mouth and make sure your mouth is clear. Who's the owner of the vehicle? Maybe. Parents. They never let me go out. How old are you? I'm 28, but I, I just got out of a nine year relationship. Okay. So. Alrighty. The jail's not going to find anything on you? Huh? The jail's not going to find oh, anything no, on you? You can check me. Alright, so have a seat. The law does not deal with variables, it needs absolute facts. Due to this, law enforcement is entrusted with devices that deliver facts. One such device is about to be implemented here. Grab it by the, the rubber and deep breath. Keep going hard like that. Yep, you're good. 0 0.12. What's up? But my parents. Well, I'm married, so I really don't think they'd answer that one. But I'm just saying, would you want your daughter to marry your husband? Well, it's marry a daughter, a girl. Well, it's a one little mistake. I think if they kept repeating it, then I'd have an issue with it. Um, I promise you taught me my lesson. Mm-hmm. Zero point one two. The woman was charged with DUI while the woman was spotted due to her erratic driving. Our next individual took it up a notch when she decided to drive on the wrong side. Okay, I want you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Do not turn your head. The incident is centered around a 23-year-old girl named Zyan Mackey. On December 23, 2021, in Georgia, an officer responded to the area in reference to a vehicle wrecked out into a ditch. Dispatch received multiple calls regarding this accident. The officer quickly rushed to the location. When the police were interrogating McKay, she was not in the right condition to provide accurate information. Suspects, in their endeavor to divert the attention of the police, employ various tactics, such as engaging in discourse on a multitude of unrelated subjects, thereby detracting from the focus of the ongoing investigation. Let's see if something similar happens here. Uh, what's going on with it? So, it, I was sitting right there at the end, and I felt like I was too close right there, so I had, like, you know, kind of rear view just a little bit over here, and I didn't know that this was right here. What do you mean you were sitting at the end? I was sitting at right there. Okay. Why were you sitting right there? I was just sitting right there for a second. Okay. While I had went on there, and then this happened. Like, there was no reason why I was sitting there. I just had parked right there for a second. I didn't even know this was right here until the end. Well, I'm just kind of confused how you got so far off the road. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why it ended up right here. I just parked mm. right here for a second. Where are you coming from? My friend house. Where's your friend stay at? She's staying like five minutes away. Where at? Right, right there. I got her address. Okay. Where are you headed to? Oh, I was headed to Norcross. Norcross? Mm -hmm. Why are you headed this way if you're going to Norcross? Well, I was parked right here for a second. It was over there. And, you know, I parked right here and I was like, man, you know, I called my friend. I was going to go back over there. But she said, like, this is where she stayed. This is where she stayed. What were you doing at your friend's house? Man, I was just chilling with her. No. Who's that? Who's that? I don't know who that is. So I'm still confused how you got this far off the road, though. Hello? Where'd you stop your car? I stopped it right here. Y'all on the way to come get me? Because I'm trying to tell. Okay, she can't gas. She right here. This is the friend that I left her house. And I... Okay, thank you. I just pulled over. So I got right here and I pulled over. 
That's why I'm right here. Okay, the police right here. Okay. Okay. What did y'all guys see? I didn't see anything. Really. I mean, I just really? passed I was... by and I saw slip down. Where'd y'all see her slip down from? Was she backing up? From here. From that one. You see the wheels of him. I pulled over just to sit down in my car for a second and then I ended up down here and I don't know how I ended up down here that's why I'm telling him and he's sitting here asking me okay well I'm trying to understand why you, you so far from the road okay well I pulled over just sitting in my car for a second to listen to my music before I went to North Park just an hour away I'm not arguing I'm just telling him the situation I'm trying to get my car out the thing so I can go back to my friend. You said you're trying to go back to your friends? Yeah, my friend, she's on the way. Because I called her and I said, well, fuck, my car is Like, come help me. And then she said she's on the way. Her friend getting gas to bring her over here to me. She only stayed five minutes away. So when you said you were just chilling at your friend's house, what were y'all doing there? No, we were just chilling. Okay. How much did you have to drink? I didn't drink. You didn't drink? No, I'm okay. Did you smoke I anything? No, I didn't smoke nothing. I just sat here and I literally come from her house to go to my girlfriend's house. I'm okay. And where's your girlfriend staying? My girlfriend's staying in Norfolk. She's on the way to come over here to help me with my car. Y'all didn't have to. So which, which one's on the way to come help you? Your friend from my here or your friend from... Oh yeah, my friend is five minutes away. She's coming to help me. And then my girlfriend's on the way to as well to come help me. Because I call her to start to come help me. Okay. Do you have an ID on you? Yes, sir. Upon discovering something suspicious about Maki, the officer opted to subject her to exercises. Mackie in turn proceeds to concoct excuses to evade performing any of the required exercises. Okay. So for this first test, okay, I want you to put your feet together. Can you hang up the phone? Because okay. you're going to need to keep your hands you down right by back, yourself. Okay, Lexi, let me do this test and I'm going to call you back. No, I'm a, he said I have to hang up the phone. Let me hang up the phone and do the test. I can do the test. I'm not drunk and I'm telling him I'm not drunk. I'm okay. Let me call you back in 10 minutes. Just follow the directions to where I'm at. Okay, the phone is off. Okay, do you want me to set the phone down? Yeah, set the phone down. It's okay. cold. I'm going to put sorry. it down okay. on my push bumper, okay? Okay. So I want you to keep your feet together. Mm -hmm. Hands down by your side, okay? I need you to stay standing up straight for me. What I want you to do is, can you see the tip of my finger? Yes, I can. Okay, I want you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Do not turn your head. Just your eyes, okay? Okay. Just your eyes. Okay, two things. Stop moving your head and stop trying to anticipate where my finger is going to be. Okay. I need you to follow and track my finger, not assume where it's going to be. Okay. If you keep cheating the test, I'm going to know. Arms down by your side. Sorry, it's cold. Okay. 
Are you going to do the test or no? I'm doing it. You're not. You're not following my finger at all. I am following your finger. You're not. Okay. Okay, my head's not moving, and I'm following your finger. You see what I'm saying? And then you said follow I'm not my following finger. you. I see your finger moving perfectly fine. Stop moving your head. You see what I'm saying? I'm not moving my head. Okay. We're done playing this game, okay? What are you talking about? You're under arrest for DUI. When someone is apprehended, the police ensure that suspects comprehend all the intricacies of legal procedures, thereby facilitating their adherence. Failure to comply may result in greater penalties. The state of Georgia has condemned <coughs> Sorry. The state of Georgia has conditioned your privilege to drive upon the highways of this state upon your submission to state administered chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances for the purpose of determining if you are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. If you refuse this testing, your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of the state will be suspended for a minimum period of one year. Your refusal to submit to blood or urine testing may be offered into evidence against you at trial. If you submit to testing and the results indicate an alcohol concentration of 0.08 grams or more, your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of this state may be suspended for a minimum period of one year. After first submitting to the requested state tests, you are entitled to additional chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances at your own expense and from qualified personnel of your own choosing. Will you submit to the state administered chemical tests of your blood? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Do you need your wallet with you or anything out of the car? Um, I just need my phone so I can get my numbers out. Okay. Do you want your wallet with you as well? No. You don't want your wallet? No. Can you call my girlfriend and tell her that I'm getting arrested at least? Yeah. Just give me one second, okay? She's coming all the way to my car to see the hour. Okay. Just give me one second. The officers bring the legal proceedings to an end by conducting the suspect's final test, ensuring all necessary steps are taken before reaching a conclusion. Now officially my birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Thank oh, you. Uh, twenty. That's a great question. Twenty-eight, I think. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't ever do anything for my birthday, so. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it always gets lost in the uh, holidays for me, so. Zion McKay was charged with DUI. While McKay was no shining beacon of an ideal citizen, our next individual's profession would make anyone wonder how someone like him broke the law. They do believe that you're operating your vehicle while impaired while in actual physical control of the vehicle. Okay. The incident is centered around a man named John. On April 29, 2023, in Monroe County, New York, an officer noticed a vehicle that had been parked for over 20 minutes in between two gas pumps. The officer immediately began his investigation. Upon encountering John in an unusual state, the officers questioned him about the factors contributing to his condition, during which the police detected something suspicious in their conversation with him. Are you all right? You know where you are? Do you know where you are? You're in your car at the Shell gas station in Ramrod. 
Where are you coming from? Uh, I went to a girl's house in uh, uh, Summerlin. I, 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 I felt sick. You're sick? Well, I, I felt sick when I was there. I, I didn't sleep much yesterday, so last night I'd thrown up a lot. I don't know if I food poisoned or what the hell was around with me when I was throwing up. Is it a No. You got a mosquito on your face. You, you, you killed it. Um, no, I'm edge checking now. Yeah, I, 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 I want to make sure he's okay. I don't Because I was like... Alcohol. No. But I don't want to do this alone. <laughs> no. <laughs> situation. Listen. He's the one that created it. Not yeah, us. but like... Spot. Are you able to get out of the car? Yes. You feel sick now? We called meds to come check you out. Connor was banging on your windows, like to the point it was going to break them. And you still weren't responsive. Had to open your door and give you a sternal rub. Still not responsive. You armed? No. Did you think you were? Like, is, is there a firearm missing? No. Right, the way you just felt your waist made me think you were like, oh, maybe, yeah. Okay, stay right here. You all right standing up? What's going on? He's just uh, unresponsive when I knock on the window. I had to open the door, give him a certain rub. Up. I want to make sure he's okay. You know, especially after all the we've been through tonight so far. He was just unresponsive. I was banging on the door, giving him a certain rub. Just want to make sure he's okay. Say he has a cold or something. A lie can never stay hidden forever. A castle built upon lies will crumble the moment pressure is applied to it. And officers are just the person who is adept at applying pressure. <sighs> No, I, like, I don't want to have to ask this. I have to. Based off deputies' observations, they do believe that you were operating your vehicle while impaired, while in actual physical control of the vehicle. Okay? You understand what I'm saying, right? We we'll get it. With that in mind, would you like to participate in standard rescue of sobriety is to either dispel my belief, to dispel my belief that you are intoxicated while in physical and actual control of the vehicle. You want to do them? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. I'm going to ask you preliminary questions. Obviously, you know them. Um, are you sick or injured? Uh, I'm sick. Okay. With what? Uh, influenza. So the flu? Yeah. All right. That's what they just told me. You so. taking any medication? My antidepressants. You just, did they just tell you that? Yeah. Okay. You took antidepressants? All right. Alright, you want to do your mask on or off? Or? I don't want to get you sick, so... Alright, that's fine. Alright, um, go and put your feet together. Arms down by your side. Alright, uh, do you wear contacts? No. Right. Do you wear glasses? No. Blindness in either eye? No. Uh, do you have any recent head trauma or any TBIs, traumatic brain injury? Yes. Okay. Well, when? Uh, ten months ago. Okay. Do they affect you to this day? Uh, my hands shake and sometimes my eyes have resting nystagmus. Okay. Alright. Um, do you have any other physical defects that would impair you from being able to walk or stand? 
No. Okay. Are you diabetic? Not that I know of. All right, not diagnosed. Hey, can you help me with the the? Can you help me with the flashlight. All right. First thing I'm gonna do is shake your eyes. All right. Now it goes. Just go ahead and put your arms out very side for me. Just keep them down. I put in my pocket. I'm cold as hell. It's like oh, it's like 85 degrees out here. Now. I don't know why I'm so cold, man. I'm freezing. Well, just hang them out for a second for me, please. You know these are standardized. All right. See the tip of my pen. Yes. What color is it? Silver. Yeah. Reach out and touch with your right index finger for me. Thank you. All right. So that's the stimulus tip of the pen that you just touch. You're gonna fall with your eyes and your eyes only. You're not gonna move your head. You understand? Yes. Do you have any questions before we begin? <laughs> Still tracking? Yep. Yep. Okay. Right. Oh. You're you're all good? What? You're just leaning back a little bit, you're okay? Yeah, well, when you were going over here, you were going like way the hell out. You're not going at maximum deviation. Maximum deviation is right here. I was on maximum deviation. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. You're good. You're good. I'm just trying to make Gosh. sure because I saw when I went out there, you leaned back a little bit. You're not going to fall. Yeah, well, I wanted to look at it, but it was like way out here, so I couldn't see it. All right. So, you're okay, though? You're not going to fall? No, I'm okay. You can relax. All right. Second thing we're gonna do is the walk and turn. Okay. Don't put your left foot on that white line. Do you agree that the line is straight and level? Yeah. Clear of any debris. Nothing that can hinder you and your walking ability. You're good. Just put your left foot on the line. Right foot in front of it. Right foot touching your. Right heel touching your left toe, arms down by your side. Stay in that position, don't begin until I tell you to. You understand? Yep. All right. I'm gonna demonstrate the exercise, okay? okay? Don't get out of that position, don't begin until I tell you to, you understand? Yep. All right, with your left foot on the line, right foot in front of it, right heel touching your left toe. When I tell you to, and only when I tell you to begin, you're gonna take a series of nine heel to toe steps, okay? With your arms down by your side, and you're going to look down at your feet the entire time. You're going to count each step out loud. Do you understand? <laughs> yes, sir. Ready whenever you are. You can relax. All right, we're gonna move on to the third and final one, okay? Good. All right, it's the one leg stand exercise. Um, what we can do is just stand right here for me how we did earlier. Anywhere you pick is good with me. Do you agree that the ground is level, free of any debris that would affect you from standing on one leg? Yeah. Okay, all right. Go ahead and stand with your heels together. <coughs> toes, toes touching toes. Heels touching heels, toes touching toes. <coughs> Good. Heels touching heels, toes touching toes. Arms down by your side. Stay in that position and uh, don't begin until I tell you to, okay? All right, I'm ready whenever you are. You want to begin? Huh? 
Whenever. Yeah, whenever you're ready. You may begin. 1001, Men and women of law are humans too. Doubts can also form in their minds. When the police begin to second-guess their conclusions about the culpability of the suspects, it can result in premature decisions being drawn without adequate evidence. We're all in a very difficult situation. Yeah. But if it's not there, it's not there. Yeah. If it is there, then we'll proceed. Right. And, and I, I don't mean to put this on your shoulders, but you know, you're the one doing the investigation. I, I, I wish I could have taken this one off you, but my personal relationship prevented that one on this particular. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, like I said, I didn't smell it beforehand, but talking to him, even with the mask on, it's heavy. Heavy? Yeah, it's like overwhelming to, be, I mean, be standing as far away with him. A surgical mask, or a surgical mask with a mask on. Yeah, I did not smell it at first on him at the car, but then after he got out of the car, I could smell it. Yeah, I didn't talk to him at all, and I wasn't even standing next to him at the car. So, um, I mean, I can make a call and ask for guidance, but he's going to tell me do whatever you think is right. You want to have a speaker? You want to talk to him? Yeah, it's fine. Hey, I'm yeah. live, so we'll, we'll tell him to say no. Hello? Hey, Captain, it's Ken. You're on speaker, and we're still hot. Um, we had a couple of uh, questions we wanted to talk to you here. Are you clear to talk? Yeah. Okay. Um, I got uh, Deputy Connor with me, Deputy Curry. Um, he agreed to do field sobriety exercises after he was released. Um, there are the necessary clues in the horizontal gaze and the stagnus. He did very well in the walk and turn and the one leg stand. Um, wearing a mask, Deputy Connor, uh, Lane is wearing a mask because he does have the flu. Um, he said he could smell it. Police know the internal workings of their procedures, but what would happen if an officer found himself on the wrong side of the law? Should he come clean, or should he utilize underhanded tactics to get himself out of a tricky situation? All right, you're good. Lost you're, I, I understand. I 100% understand. You want me to roll down the window? Yeah, I got you. We'll take these off. Huh? Take these off. Uh, leave them on. I do. Hold on. You want me to put them at the front? Hey, hold on. Um, so obviously I don't know the circumstances of what happened. I'm completely unbiased here. I'm gonna go ahead and treat you like I treat everybody else in this situation, all right? And I'm gonna treat you as such in the manner that I am willing to cuff you to the front. No, I'm not that. Okay, I'm not giving you any, sp any special privilege because of that. People who are calm in the BTO room with me I cuff them in the front. If you choose to be cuffed in the back, that's on you, but I'm not giving you any special privilege. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Would you prefer being cuffed in the front in the meantime? You want to stay cuffed in the back. You understand that? It's on your own. You know what's expected as far as providing the breath sample? Do you need me to explain anything to you as far as... As far as providing the breath sample? What do you got? I have the flu and I just got He's playing the game because he wants the game. Yeah, I'm what he's doing, and I'm like, I'm just throwing out there. That's why I told JC get one or not. He he's actually what he's doing. He's actually strengthening the case against him because he's caught. He knows the law. He knows that we have to get one or not. Twenty minute uh, thing. 
it's not going to help him. His BAC is not going to go any lower because um, you eliminate 0 0.015 every hour. So he's already eliminated a few hours. What he's trying to do is trying to get below a threshold. But if he, he would say he blows in 20 minutes and he blows 0 0.06, 0 0.05, they're going to know. Like he's been out of the car, detained by police, in a hospital for the past three hours. He's over. He knows he is. He's playing this game with us now. Like, because now he's playing that on the cough, I know what I have to do. He, JC said he purposely had, was had, like <laughs> doing that right when he saw the 20 minute observation was over. So I said, so give him another 20. We're accommodating him. We're going to do what he wants. And at the end of this 20, if he doesn't give, it's a refusal. We're not going to say you're picking. So basically, it's not a request. It is a visible way to have a routine. Jonathan, do you still refuse to submit? Refuse to submit to this test? This is your copy of the citation. Court records show the case has no file, and off-duty officer John was not formally charged with DUI. While John may have escaped facing consequences due to his profession, our next individual, however, was not so lucky. Do not move until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? Yes. When I tell you to begin, raise either leg approximately six inches off the ground. A woman takes the center stage for our final incident. On March 23, 2023, in Macomb, Illinois, an officer noticed a vehicle speeding at high rate of speed, failing to yield or stop, and failing to use its turn signal. The officers immediately conducted a traffic stop. The first duty of an officer is to make sure the safety of individuals. They do not always assume the worst and label anyone of wrongdoing before making a proper assessment. They go about this through various ways, only when they are sure that no medical issues at play, only then they proceed with their investigation for misconduct. How are we doing, Officer Bedouin, Cone Police Department? Okay, how are you? So the reason I stopped you tonight is because you're driving on the left side of the road. Okay. And then also you came roaring out of the Dollar General parking lot. You didn't even stop. Oh, you, sorry. You have to stop before entering the public roadway, okay? okay. All right. Do you have proof of insurance, ma'am? Yes, I do. Okay. You guys come from the ice house tonight? Yeah, I'm just going to change. I have a hole in my eye. Okay. How much have you had the I didn't tonight? drink. Okay, because I'm smelling alcohol coming out of the vehicle, so... That's, no, you haven't had anything to drink at all? No. Okay. Okay. So do me a favor. Uh, can you count backwards from 68 and end at 53? 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 64, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, H I J K L M N O P Q R. Okay. All right. Can you take your glasses off for me, real quick? Okay. See my finger here? I want you to follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? All right. I'll be right back. Okay. Get it. <laughs> She's definitely. Get your, uh, make sure you have your, all your clips on and everything. Ma'am, you want to hop out here and talk to me, real quick, please? Why don't you come back here and talk to this officer real quick, okay? Okay. He's going to explain to you what's going on. All right. I have a hole in my underwear. Sorry. You have a hole where? In my pants. That's oh, okay. Do you want to take your purse off real quick? You can set it on the... You can keep your jacket on if you want. I just... I know, but my purse is underneath. Okay. And I do have a hole in my underwear. Okay, so right now we're. Go out. You have her facing you, and you facing the street. 
So right now we're going to do some tests to see if you're okay to drive. Okay. So I'm going to have you do... Okay. Can you take your glasses off and set them on the back of the car too? I know you have glasses. Do you, do you have contacts that you no, forgot to take know. out or anything? No. Okay. So I'm going to have you stand with your feet together and your arms at your sides, just like that. And I'm going to check your eyes. I'm going to move my finger. One second. I'm going to move my finger back and forth. I want you to follow the instrument with your with your eyes and your eyes only and do not move your head. Keep following the stimulus until I tell you to stop. Okay. Okay, you can take a break. You can blink a couple times too. All right, you good? Yes. <laughs> All right, keep your arms here at your side. One more. All right. So the next test, what I'm gonna have you do, it's a walk and turn test. Can you just go ahead and step back here? Yes. And can you just imagine Can you just imagine a straight line? Nope. Step right here. Can you just imagine a straight line to, towards your left tail light right there? Left tail light, okay. Yep, the one right here. You want me to do it now? Oh, I gotta explain oh, some sorry. instructions to you. You're gonna place your left foot on the line with your right foot directly in front of, with your heel touching your toe. Keep your arms down at your side. So it'll look just like this. Yep, you'll put your left foot on the line. What, this line? Yep, the imaginary line to that tail light. Okay. With your right foot directly in front of, in front of it, oh, touching correct. heel okay. to toe, okay. with your arms down at your side. Okay. Do not move until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? Yes. When I tell you to start, take nine heel to toe steps forward, turn by keeping your front foot on the line, and then take several small steps to rotate yourself with your other foot. After turning, take nine heel to toe steps back to where you started, while you walk, keep your arms at your sides, watch your feet, and count your steps out loud. Do not stop until you have completed the test. So it'll be- clarification, do I do nine this way, then like two, three, turn, and then nine back? 
Yes, as I told you in the instructions. Okay. I'm going to demonstrate for you. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, sir. You may begin. Are you done with the test? Yes. Okay, you can turn back around. I have one more test. Okay. Have face in front of your phone. Can you face this way? All right, so this is a one leg stand. Stand up straight with your feet together and your arms at your sides, just like this. Do not move until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? When I tell you to begin, raise either leg approximately six inches off the ground. Keep the raised foot parallel to the ground. Keep both legs straight. Keep your arms at your sides and watch your raised foot. Hold that position while counting out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. So it'll be like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, sir. Okay, one second. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, sir. Okay. You may begin. 1001, 1002, 15, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020, 1021, 1022, 1023, 1024, 1025, 1026, 1027, 1028, 1029, and stop. Okay, uh, if you want to step over here, I got one more thing for you. Do you want to hang out right there with that officer for a second? An officer's duty does not end when they apprehend a suspect. On the contrary, it's only beginning. They are tasked with informing individuals what they did wrong and also what may happen next before proceeding with next steps of procedure. Push the front of it. That one as well as when you go. I was told that I could deny this. This is not evidentiary value at all. This is this is not the test that uh, you have to worry about going to court or anything okay. like that, okay? Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna take an inhale, deep but, breath. Hold on, you can not deny this though if you want. I do want to. Okay, so here's, okay. here's the thing real quick. Okay. Okay, Officer Lyle, is she gonna be placed under arrest for uh, driving under the influence tonight? Yes. Okay, based, so based here's a man, based on his clues that he observed, you're going to be placed under arrest for driving under the influence. This will, if you think you are not above .08, this will prove him wrong. Okay. Okay? You're, so would you be willing to show that and show like, hey, no, I was wrong. Also, he might possibly believe that you are so intoxicated, you have to go out to the hospital before going to jail because they don't allow anyone above .25 in the jail. So you'd have to spend hours out in the hospital getting an alcoholic eval as well. Am I able to call my mom? No, you're not. So I was told to deny everything. Okay. Okay. So are you sure you want to do that? I mean, honestly, this so could scare. So if I deny, scare. I will go to jail, basically. Yeah, you're going to go to jail. But if you are b below that, you're more welcome to prove us wrong. And, you know, it's up to you. I believe I am, but you believe I was you are told what? I was denied. I well, that's, this is not evidentiary value. This, you're thinking of the test in the jail. There's, there's two blow tests. Okay. So you're thinking of what's called the BAO machine. Mm -hmm. That's the intoxilizer, intoximeter. So what that does is that's the one that goes on, that goes to court and everything else, okay? That's not this. This holds no evidentiary value whatsoever. So I just have a question because last time I was fooled. Yeah. 
But regardless if I blow, will I go to jail? Yes. Oh, I still deny. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Put your hands behind your back. I have to call my mom. No, you don't. Not right now, ma'am. And why is it? You're because by the following clues that we observed, you are under the influence of alcohol. So am I staying in until the week? To the weekend. You'll be able to buy them. And how much is it? It'll be. You have a valid license. Which yes, I is do. With him. I have my valid ID. It'll be hundred and thirty dollars. So can I sell them in my car? I can't. I'll t I'll let them know. Is there anything in your car you need? No. And can they is please there... drive the car? No, it has to be impounded according to state so law. So I have to tell them. No, I have because I, I have them. to pay. Ma'am, listen to me. I will tell them. Is there this is, is your ma'am? Please listen to me. Is do you have a phone or a purse in your vehicle that you need to be able to bond out? Can I? Yes, I do have my wallet that I need to bond out. Okay. Is your phone in there? Yes, and I have to call my mom to transfer my money. Okay. Well, you can call your mom at the jail. We're not calling her now. Okay. All right. Can I ask you, what did I do that failed it? Based the on, turning? Based on my test. The but standard. Can you acknowledge what it is? There's just a seat. And then I won't get my car tonight, will I? Your car? Yes, I need the car. It's going to be impounded, so you, if you can. Can I no, get there, my there's phone? No, there's a 12 hour hold, so you would have to come back at. But I will get out tomorrow. tonight, though. Yes, after we get through with everything at the jail. And then how much is the... With your with your license, it'll just be $100. So last time I got that waived, there's no way I can get that waived. What do you mean you got it waived? Because I was not able to pay it as if as uh, I'm not able to pay it again today, so... Okay, that would be something you'd have to discuss with the jail. Can you go ahead and have a seat for me? But my mom told me that I have to call her if oh, anything. You can call her at the jail. Can I see your phone to call? No, you can make phone calls at the jail. They told me I could sit in the front last time. No, can you take a seat? Delilah, hey. can you call my mom, please? Get in the car. You don't have to be aggressive. Get I just in, want to Listen, call get in the car then. You're doing too much. I just want her to call my mom so she can know. Last time, it went too far, and I just want her to know. The woman was charged with DUI and failure to yield at stop sign. For more videos about criminals, hit the subscribe button.